Hi everybody, welcome back to Novel Idea. I'm Dia and today I thought that I would walk you through my pile of possibilities for um, the rest of the summer. I don't have everything here that I will be reading, but I have several books that I have chosen and um, I really want to read these, so I'm pretty sure that these ones will get read. Uh, but I have um, not enough to fill the whole summer. So I'm just gonna go over those. Um, my friend Tiffany at Beautiful Minutia is hosting a summer book bingo. And um, so I will be participating in that. Let me just get started. The first book that I would like to read is The Once and Future King by T.H. White. Now this is an Arthurian retelling, an Arthurian legend retelling. And it is actually three books um, bound together into one. And uh, it is a classic, it's a long book. It's, um, the very first book in the binding is, um, in the bind up is uh, The Sword in the Stone, which is what Disney based their uh, movie on. Um, it's not exact to the book, of course, but it is what they based their movie on. Um, but T.H. White took his source material from Sir Thomas Mallory's Le Morte d'Arthur. So I'm gonna actually read Le Morte d'Arthur, um, and I could be saying that completely wrong. I'm sorry <laughs> for those of you that speak French. Um, Le Morte d'Arthur, maybe? Um, anyway, but I'm going to be reading that along with The Once and Future King um, because I want to see where he got his material from. And so I'll be reading both of those. And then the next book that I would like to read is a new to me author. And um, it is called The Mountain Sing. This is by Nguyen Fan K. Mai. I could be saying that wrong as well. <laughs> Nguyen Fan K. Mai. Uh, the Mountain Sing. And I actually chose this book because, oh, number one, it's got a beautiful cover. But number two, um, it was said that it was hard but hopeful and it is um, set during the Vietnam War and it's about one family in particular and about their escape, the portion of them that escaped. And so I um, thought that I would read this to kind of get a little bit of a historical um, background. Uh, I want to read this because she is a poet. The author is actually a poet. So I think it's gonna be really beautiful prose. Um, and I am just, I'm just looking forward to it. I can't tell you more than that because I don't really know more than that. Um, the next one that I would like to read is a graphic novel. It's one that I've wanted to read for a while because it looks so sweet, so wholesome, looks very cottage core to me. <laughs> and that is The Tea Dragon Society by Kay O'Neill. And I have no idea what it's about and I could be completely wrong about the wholesomeness of it, but it is one of three in this series. And so if I like it, I might move on. Um, I've wanted to read it for quite a while, but the library couldn't get it in for me. And so I um, am just now getting it and um, hopefully they'll have it with for me within the next week. We'll see. <laughs> 
Um, the next book that I am going to read this summer is The Harp of Kings. This is by Juliette Marillier, and I so loved Daughter of the Forest and so hated Son of Shadows <laughs> that I decided to get out of that trilogy altogether and see if I could give Juliette Marillier another chance to really win my heart. And so I'm going to read The Harp of Kings. Um, I don't even know the name of the trilogy. This is just the first book in it because I want to love something else as much as I love Daughter of the Forest. Um, so I'll report back to you on that one. It's, the next one is by a Canadian author. And the reason I picked this up is because number one, it's got a really cute cover, but number two is that the tagline for this book is Pride and Prejudice with Dragons. And that, <laughs> I was like, sold. <laughs> um, so I actually, I actually bought this without reading it, you guys. That's, that's how much I <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I think I'm really going to love it. So I went ahead and purchased it. Um, so yeah, Tooth and Claw by Joe Walton. And um, again, I'll report back to you and let you know how I like it. It's a little book. It's not going to be very long. So if I don't like it, at least it's not going to be, you know, 500 pages and, and a waste of time. Um... The next one is Spear, and this is by Nicola Griffith, and also an Arthurian retelling, and also a very small book. Um, so I think this is actually considered a novella, and um, I have no idea. I've never read anything by Nicola Griffith before. I um, am hopeful that I will love it um, again. I love Arthurian retellings. I love Arthurian legend. So um, this is a newer book. It I think it came out this year actually and I was going to read it earlier in the year also but the library couldn't get it for me um, quickly enough. So I'm going to read it now. Um, the next book is Labyrinth. This is by Kate Moss and um, it is set in the south of France. She's an archeological student and she is on a dig and they discover um, uh, skeletons, two skeletons, and it sends them back in time, I think. And so it might be a retelling of some sort, but I do know that it is historical fiction and so, and a little bit of a mystery. And so I'm really looking forward to that one also. Um, the next one is the one I wanted to read for so long. Um, it is about a family from uh, England who are just tired of the pace of life, tired of the grayness of life and so they just pick up their big family and move to Corfu. And so uh, this is just about their life on Corfu. It's called My Family and Other Animals and it is by Gerald Durrell and I am so looking forward to it. I really am. I can't wait. Uh, the next one is My Garden by Mary Russell Mitford. And this is, um, she, Mary Russell Mitford writes lovely books. So I know that I am going to really enjoy that. And it's just about her garden. It's all it is. And I'm, and I'm really looking forward to reading more gardening related books. Um, Boys in the Boat is the next one. I heard about this from Jillian and I'm trying to remember Jillian's channel name. 
I cannot remember it. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> um, and I will definitely link it down below. But uh, this one, um, so I'm from the Pacific Northwest originally, and we just barely moved back here. And um, this story called The Boys in the Boat by Daniel Brown is about the 1938 Olympics and a team of rowers who made it to the Olympics and this is about their journey and their time there and the history um, that was happening at the time and so I'm really looking forward to this one. Jillian really enjoyed it and that's the reason why I picked it up was she thought that I would too. So um yeah, Boys in the Boat, Daniel Brown. The next one um, I found as a result of looking for a completely different book by the exact same title. So um, it's a cozy mystery. It's called Rotten to the Core. It's by Sheila Connolly. And I was looking for another cozy mystery by... T. E. Kinsley or Kingsley, Kinsley, I think, T. E. Kinsley. And um, it's the new Lady Hardcastle cozy mystery that is due out. And so I was looking to see if it was out yet, and it wasn't. But Sheila Connolly had a book called Rotten to the Core also. And Sheila Connolly writes the County Cork mysteries, and I've really enjoyed those in the past and so I thought well I'm gonna give this one a try also and so that one I picked up at the library today and I'll be reading that one probably here in June and um, fitting it into a square in the bingo board I hope that you guys maybe will join in with us and um, the more the merrier it's gonna be fun and you can get the details over from um, Tiffany's video. I'll link it in the description box below and um, also link all of the books that I'm going to read. And have you guys read any of these? Are you interested in reading any of them? And do you think I'm going to like them? Um, just any, anything that you want to tell me down below, please do. And I want, I'm interested to hear what you guys are planning on reading uh, over the summer. And yeah, did you have a good um, Memorial Day weekend? We drove to uh, Washington State and we um, hung out with our extended family. It was fun. We hung out at the lake. We it was not a warm holiday for us. It was it was a little windy and a little chilly and a little drizzly, but we played lots of pickleball and um, did a little wiffle ball game and uh, played with the puppies and we had such a good time. I hope that you guys this week is going well and like if you like this, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.